increasingly frequent departures from constitutional principles are destroying the rule of law foundation on which this country was built. A handful of lawyers on the Supreme Court issuing edicts, a president of the United States legislating and, and ruling by fiat, Congress getting involved in every aspect of our lives. You're spending our future of our kids and our present day income and we think it ought to change. The cure will not come from Washington, D.C. They must come from the states. I've been there, I've seen it, it stinks. It's about them, it's not about us. I want Texas to join other states in calling for a convention of states to fix the cracks in our broken constitution. Our founders and their brilliance uh, gave us a tool to do that, and it's an Article 5. And Article 5 says that you, the citizens, can call a convention of states. It is the only way we will ever be able to devolve power away from Washington back to the states as the founders of this great country intended it to be. We have to do all the things that are necessary to restore our liberties. Put teeth into the Tenth Amendment. Term limits on Congress, term limits on judges, and a balanced budget amendment for America. We're going to use the Constitution to save the Constitution. That's how we do it. We, the people, have to take the lead to restore the rule of law. And all the people that say, what can we do? This is the answer. For the American people, in a civil, legal, constitutional, thoughtful way, to begin the process of reclaiming their republic. This is going to be the biggest army of Americans who love our country and love liberty that has ever arisen. If Congress can't get it done, we look to the Constitution of the United States, we look at what the Founding Fathers said, we look at Article 5, and we return, we return the power, power to the people. What did you do during the great constitutional crisis? I'm going to say, I fought back. The most important thing we can do to save this country is pass Convention of States. Do we have the will to keep our republic? History, in fact, does have its eyes on us right now.